Let's talk about the Nets. Let's talk about James Harden. Stephen A., he's averaging three free throws and 17 points per game. What do the Nets need James Harden to be for them to win the championship? Well, they need him to be in shape, first of all, because he's come in twice, last year before the season began and this season, before a little puffy, let's just call it what it is, okay? Mm -hmm. But I believe in the brother, he's a superstar, mm -hmm. and he's a basketball savant. And obviously he used the rules to his advantage that the rules changes uh, that prevent him from drawing fouls with non-basketball or related moves and what have you. That's really counted against him. I have the confidence that he'll get back up, but to answer your question directly, I believe he needs to be the dude that was in Houston. Well, if he gonna make it to the finals, as you predict, without Kyrie Irving, and they got a chance to win a championship, Houston. he better. Houston, exactly. He better. You're right. And, and by the way, I'm gonna tell you what I see. James Harden looked unhappy. He looked disinterested. He has been the slowest player in the NBA this year. Mm. And I got that stat because I was walk, I was watching the game, and I'm like, this man out there walking. Yeah. Like literally, what walking. does that tell us? Why? What? What? To what do you attribute that? Well, number one, I don't believe he's in shape. Mm -hmm. Number two, his level of aggression isn't there. Like James Harden should be taking more shots when Kyrie Irving isn't playing. Kind of like Russell Westbrook yes. did when LeBron isn't playing. So is he not happy in his situation? Well, is listen, he he's, he, in, in fairness to him, he says, he's told people he's fine, he's just fine, and you got people talking about he's just waiting to sign the Supermax deal, all of this other stuff, Max deal, actually, and all of this other stuff. I can't believe that he's happy with the situation in Brooklyn. Kyrie Irving's absence has been a distraction. It's put more of a load on him. Plus, he came into camp... He was not in shape. Let's just call it what it is. He did not look in shape, and that's problematic. I, it really I, is. I, I, I need to ask you and Will sure. all of you guys yeah. something. Sure. And, and I love James Harden. I believe he did deserve to be a top 75 player. I do, too. But this is the problem sometimes with putting current and active players on lists like this. Yeah. Okay. Because, like, the, 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 the level of disinterest that I've seen from him early in the season, 17%, yeah. 17 points per game, 30% from mm -hmm. three. Like, uh, I, I need to see more from one of the greatest Michael players Michael Wilbon, what are you seeing? Yeah. What are we seeing from James, James Harden right now? That's a great point. Well, we're not seeing the James Harden we need to see, which is last year's James Harden. And the thing was, I mean, you know, Kyrie came to him, if we were to believe the anecdote, yes. and said, look, you're the point guard. And not only was he the point guard, he was the MVP. And Jalen, yes. you're right, but he came in he came in out of shape last year, too. And he still very quickly got to a point where he was the best player. He was dominant at a position that is not even primarily his position. I mean, he took point guard and he looked like, you know, a second coming for a while there of Magic Johnson. He was so brilliant. So now you got a guy shooting 36% overall, 32% from three. The rules, okay, they've made it harder for him to get to the line. But not only three times a game. What happened is a lot of between 3 and 11 or whatever it was that James Harvest get. I mean, it's unbelievable that he is this off. And I started thinking, yes. okay, I wonder if the injuries from last year are no. still affecting him. I know he had an offseason. Stephen, are you certain that he's fully healthy it's at this not point? That it's, not that, it's not that, Mike. I believe more than anything he's demoralized because he's not getting his way in terms of getting those calls. And I think that has turned him off combined with everything else we've mentioned. And that's what we're seeing. I love James Harden like everybody else. I've seen this man have supersized triple doubles. I believe he's going to get in shape and so get together. So do I. But here's what we ain't going to do. We ain't going to blame injuries. We ain't going to blame the refs. And we ain't going to blame Kyrie. That's right. He should be balling more and his that's usage fair. should be up. Yeah, that's fair. In that case, yeah. not have, the other way around. I have to that's agree right. with you, Rose. That's I right. have to agree with you. Yep. Morant is 22 years old. Okay. How many players under the age of 24 right now would you take ahead of him? So I'm taking Luka with the One. Dallas Mavs, Jason Tatum with the Boston Celtics. Ooh. I'm still sticking with my... Zion Williamson at number Ooh. three. I'll take Jai at four, and I'll take Trey Young at number five. So the answer is three ahead of John Morant. What do you think? Well, listen, I, th I thought I caught Jalen slipping because I thought he said Tatum and Doncic, and that was it. <laughs> but you added Zion, and that's what I was going <laughs> to pounce on you on. I was like, wait, I know he didn't leave Zion out after all that noise. He made it at the top of the show. But I don't really have a problem with this list. The only reason I would put John Morant ahead of Zion is durability, yep. A, and obviously, the game has evolved. The game has changed. And it's more of a guard-oriented game. Zion is a monster. I get all that. But even when the guy falls on the floor, don't you find yourself looking at him going, please get up, please get up. I got an I mean, example for you. It just makes me nervous. I, got I don't feel that way about John Moran. Nobody's as plugged into Philly as you. 
This is Joel Embiid 2.0. Mm -hmm. He played three games his first 82. Okay. He played three. He played 82. And Joel Embiid first. is still an issue his, with his durability. And that's, that's what Zion might be yeah, as there we well. Go. This is where John Morant comes in at three. But if for you me. got five healthy seasons out of Zion, he is one of one. John Morant is spectacular, but there are other spectacular little guards. I would ask he you. He is one of one. Greeny, before we get Michael Will on in, yeah. here, I would ask you yes. to hold off on that proclamation until this season evolves because John Morant at the moment is averaging 35. He is. He Be killing. careful. How about they play eight together? The How many of these young Stephen guys are taking ahead of Ja, Michael? Luca is the only one I'm taking ahead of Ja. Luca, that's it. And by the way, I'm happy to have Trey at any time. So I'm not going to argue against Trey. But I'm going to argue for Ja Morant second right now. Again, his leadership just seems to be he is ahead coming of Jason into Tatum? that place Jason Tatum's got some scar tissue now, as great as he is. They lost those games in those playoffs, Stephen A. They should not have lost. And I'm going to tell you who I might take third of the guys 24 and under. And y'all didn't mention him. It ain't going to be Zion. It's going to be LaMelo Ball to build a team. If I'm building a team last year, before he got hurt, they were the fourth or the fifth seed. LaMelo Ball is headed toward being a monster. He's got the ball in his hands. You talked about this being a league of guards. That's what LaMelo Ball is. So if I'm building well, tonight, I, I know he got hurt too. Matter? But, but, but Zion's been hurt multiple <laughs> times, Stephen A. You what can't the count matter? on him to be out what there. What is the matter with you? I'm taking, for, for, hey, I'm for, telling you. First of all, LaMelo Ball can ball. We get all of that, all right? Got a lot yeah. of prompt point guard. You know that, Jalen Rose. No, no, you know, all right, now, now, no, no, no shade on LaMelo, but you're just okay. going to ignore Jason Tatum. He, he, he's 24 no, years old. He's already Jason hold on, hold on. Tatum. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Will Bond. He, the man is, I know you in Vegas, all right, betting your money on somebody else <laughs> other than Tatum. Let me reel you back in. Okay. Okay. you trying to tell me table. that Jason, Jason Tatum went to a conference finals Okay, he went to a conference finals. He's been in the playoffs pretty much every year. He's good for 26 a night. He's 6 9 with a handle in a perimeter game. He can defend as well, and you're going to tell me you're going to just I'm summarily projecting. dismiss that. I'm not no. dismissing him, Stephen A., but I'm going to take Ja. What I'm seeing from Ja right now, what I saw at the end of the last look, Ja is fueled by not being able to be in the real playoff picture last year. I. I'm taking Ja Morant, and I can live with that. I love Jason. There's no shade on Jason Tatum, but I'm taking Ja after Luka. I'm going to tell you something else. If Luka doesn't get himself together and forget all that immature, babyish screaming at officials and leading the league in technical fouls, he can get passed along the line somewhere, too. Right ahead, now, Jaylen. he is the unquestioned great young guy. Uh, uh, but, well, well, Luka ain't the first person to cry about fouls, and nobody loves Ja Morant more than I do. I picked Memphis to make the playoffs last year when Steph Curry was having an MVP year. But let's not underestimate the fact basketball is still a tall man's game. Yeah. And when Kevin Durant and Steph Curry both show up at the playground, you see the greatness of Steph Curry. But bring Woj into the conversation for the latest there. Woj, how are the Pelicans approaching the situation with Zion and the injury? Uh, Greeny, the, the Pelicans are waiting to get some more imaging done on that foot of Zion Williamson's later this week. They need to see if there's been enough healing done to clear him for more activity. Right now, you know, he's cleared to do one-on-o -on stuff on the court to be able to jog around the floor, but he's not making hard cuts. Uh, he's not able to move aggressively yet on the court, but they're hoping with the next set of imaging, I'm told perhaps uh, as soon as late this week, they'll be able to progress to the next point of his return. Uh, but he's still a ways away from getting back uh, into game shape and, and being cleared uh, to play for these Pelicans, make his season debut. Yeah, and that's always been the concern there. Woj, thank you. We'll see you on Countdown in just a little bit. And let me remind everyone, lest you should need reminding, that Zion was the number one pick in the 2019 draft, and John Morant went right after him. And then you see some of the other names on there, real good players. Hachimura is a good player, Reddish, R.J. Barrett, DeAndre Hunter. You see all the names on there. But the real question is this one, Stephen A. Smith, well, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> because I don't believe you had to show that chart. It shows that the New York Knicks had the third pick, and they missed out on John Morant by one pick, just the way they missed out on Steph Curry years earlier by one pick. I don't think you had to show that. That's well, all I'm saying. I didn't want to start your night off on this kind of a downer, Stephen A. And Michael Wilbon, as you see, joins us from Las Vegas. But this is the question. Will history, Stephen A. Smith, show 
that John ja Morant should have been the number one pick in that draft. I believe it will. I believe it will. I just, I, I, just, I, I really feel that way. First of all, I think John ja Morant is elevating his point, his, his stature, the superstar status. It's not there yet, but he's getting it. Averaging 35 right now. That's number one. Number two, Zion Williamson, counting the three, three to four games he's already missed, has missed 73 games in his career. John Moran has missed 24. The best ability is availability. Mm -hmm. And when you look at the greatness of a John Moran without denying the obvious greatness of a Zion Williamson, durability was his question mark coming into the league. It's been a question mark for him since he's been into the league. We don't have that concerns for John Moran, and that's what it comes down to for me. For the Pelicans, I'll actually say no. And here's why. They just had a starting point guard, Lonzo Ball that they let walk away yeah. and get signed by the Chicago Bulls, and they're undefeated. Basketball is a tall man's game. It's a big man's game. You got to take Zion number one overall. I got one vote on either side. Michael Wilbon, break the tie. Did they make the wrong pick? Hey, I'm taking Ja. I'm taking Ja, guys. And, and he, you know, I noticed the other night in that Laker game, and I understand he missed that third free throw, and they lost the game. And I yeah. found myself saying, I don't care. I don't care that, you know, he missed a free throw. We got a long season to go. He plays with, and I really want to see what Stephen A. thinks of this comparison. He plays with a ferocity of Allen Iverson. There's yes. like part Iverson. I haven't figured out who else is there. Part of it seems like David Thompson some nights when I go really old school because I'm old. But this kid, he plays in a way that says, follow me. Follow mm -hmm. me now. I'm not saying that Zion has short. He, there's no shortness to his game. But the availability portion of this, you can't count on him being there. And you know what that reminds me of? Kevin Durant was taken second in the draft behind a seven-footer who was supposed to be a greater player, mm -hmm. and Odin could never be there. And I don't want this to remind me of that because I want to see Zion play and play a lot and play to his potential. But, guys, it doesn't look like that's going on right now. To me, you got to go job. I got to put some respect on Zion's name. Yeah. He averaged 27 points last season. Yeah. Right. He shot 60% right. from the floor, right. and he's currently injured. I agree. Like, right. I love John ja Morant, mm -hmm. and John ja Morant is a terrific, dynamic mm -hmm. young guard. But basketball See, is still a big man's game. I'm gonna and they don't regret taking... I'm going to start accusing you of being a fake news organization <laughs> and yourself. No one questions Zion Williamson's greatness. No, no, we know uh -uh. he averaged 27 and 7. We know what a monster he can be. What we said was...